32 v 31. All right, we are live. Start roughly the start of round two. Just before the start, looks like their U.S. is still figuring out how they want to do things. Little squad leader briefing over here before they get everybody together. We'll see how they change things up this round. Looks like the cache, there's two caches that spawn, but one of them is out of play because it is too far east according to the rules that we set up for this round. So it looks like they're going to be in Alpha 3 for that cache. A little bit further away, but the U.S. knows where it is by process of elimination. So it should be maybe a little bit tighter game, but we'll see. Yeah, at least they'll have a little more time this go around for sure. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of near the same location. It's just farther west that the insurgents will be this time. Way in that far west corner. It's an area you don't get to uh, actually fight much in, in this map because uh, usually it's the militia base. Yeah, yeah. So that's it's an interesting area to fight. Usually if you're fighting there, you, you've either won or your fight is gone. Yeah. We'll see, yeah, if the, uh, this U.S. team can put that Crows to as good use. I, see, I wonder in the last round, if you witnessed it, there was a great ambush on the lot, that transport truck and Humpy, and I wonder if there was a conscious decision to target the transport as opposed to the Crows. Because I can understand how it would be very tempting to shoot at the transport, especially with troops, but the Crows ended up being pivotal in the U.S. defense. That is very After true. Exfil. So, who knows? Four kills versus uh, taking the crows out? Tough to call. Well, that crows ended with uh, five kills. Correct? Yeah, with that five was kills. Room. And yeah. when they took out that transport, they killed five people, including command. So, I, I mean, mm. that was... Taking command you're not out, gonna, yeah. You're not going to do that every time, but that it still was not a bad decision, I suppose. I'm surprised. I, there was a few seconds between when the uh, SPG hit and the second rocket. I'm surprised the passengers didn't get the get the hell out of that that transport. Yeah, I know. Like, I, I streamed um, Operation Neighborhood Watch on Sumari, and I was in a Humvee riding around. And as soon as we got hit by a mortar, I jumped out. Yeah, <laughs> I bailed. Out. I was scared. I, everyone else stayed in, and, and the fire went out and everything, but. But I don't okay. trust that. I mean, unless your driver's like, we're fine, we're fine, okay, half health or whatever. Try. I'm going to jump out. Yeah, I don't know gonna... what's going on. Oh, yeah. Well, so, you don't know where that second, third, fourth so rocket's coming from. With yeah. Four, four squads yeah, with two rockets so each, Saturday, and each of those rockets have two like anti-tank anti rockets. You got to you gotta get out. You got to okay, assume that there's some following quickly after. Gamma is at 2.2. But off was a little different, though, wasn't it? I was just double checking. Hindsight's 2020. I know like, oh, yep. yeah, yeah. it because if you're not, you're you're so still the objective here. We just gotta go find their file. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. See where they go. I think we'll see something just like last round where. The U.S. is going to move slow and controlled. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like they're talking about doing a, another platoon line east to west. Or, you know, we'll be able to do. We'll, we'll be able to watch Shadow Ritual give his briefing because he's got it. We got a camera on him, so we'll get a watch first person command brief. Yeah, that's always good. We're not going to go north. Yeah. Good insight. From here, we're going to come down this gully. Oh, they're going straight south. Sounds like. Okay, they're not they're not gonna go north at all. They're just gonna stay like in the middle through district center and then south. Yeah. Run right through. Yeah. Yep. What kind of uh scrounge do we have? About the same. Yeah, they've got they could definitely get down to the techies in the south. Going east is gonna be risky for the insurgents. But they've got a couple vehicles. Up there, so they'll be able to use those yeah, vehicles, they, running, yeah, they grab stuff. They'll be fine. They'll, they'll fine. get a bunch. Yeah, that wolf pack. That was a uh, pretty cool to see. Didn't work out super well. 
but uh, I'd say it went pretty well. Yeah, I'm surprised they never got a hit on that Humvee. Copy. That's what I'm saying. I'm sure someone there made the call. Oh my god, hit the transport. So everybody targets it. Targeted. All right, we're gonna do a platoon brief. Everybody line up. Looks like well, the U.S. are lining him up. We'll, we'll cut you to Shadow Ritual here shortly, and you get to watch him. You know, I, uh, Hesmix said need to have a promo video for Vic Training now. I think they're working on one. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure who's doing it. Our, con our content creation team is just doing so much. They've got so much on, on the board and plate. That they want to do. Right, go ahead and give me comms. I'm give me not comms. sure where they've got it prioritized. Great job last round, guys. We've got so we many teams anymore. It. All right, we're uh, gonna go to Shadow Ritual. Round, I think it was within like four. Um, this time we are tasked with destroying the insurgent cash or eliminating their ha uh, high value target. The plan is as follows: Squad three is gonna take the uh, Crow Humvee and they're gonna set up on this hill, marked with the uh, Humvee mark. Uh, squad 2, no, sorry, Squad 4 is going to take the transport, they're going to blitz forward, and they're going to take control of the insurgent resupply marked at the, uh, the friendly fob mark, and then they're going to wait for squads 1 and 2 and uh, command to uh, move up. We're going to move northwest out of Maine, we're going to take this gully, and we're just going to go down it, and we're going to try and uh, get up on this hill. Once we're in position, we're going to take up a uh, platoon line, as follows, sort of, sort of like this, in this, this general area. And then we're going to start trying to push them with Humvee support on the uh, south flank. Uh, that's about it. It's going to be a simple platoon line, push push to the end. Are there any questions? Yeah, we feel pretty confident they're in Alpha 3. Yeah, basically, yeah. They, they, can't, ha they can't have a cash past that point. Uh, after we destroy the high value target, our exfil location is going to be marked right here with the BTR mark. That's where you head back. After we destroy the high value target, the other cache. yeah, basically the other cache. So as soon as we destroy the high value target, just break contact, let them chase you, just get out of there, and head back to the uh, the, uh, the exfil location, and then let them dig you out. Watch out for MGs. They're probably uh, like. Ideal MG positions are probably going to have one like up here, watching the southern road, or watching the eastern road. They're probably going to have one on this this part of the uh, compound, watching the south. Hopefully the Crow's Humvee just gets amazing sidelines and can just nail them before we even get there. And prepare to take a lot of contact on the transport mark. Like, they're probably going to have guys all up on these hills. And it's basically going to be a fight for, for every inch, I'm assuming. Any questions? Cool. Squad leads break my final details. I will call for live. Are you fire team leads, Lynn? Yes. All right. Cool. Alpha. Alright, Sightless so have attached both my ARs with you, so Peyton and and uh, Smith are going to be with you. Um, Alrighty, always good to listen into those. Let's see, so if they're Yeah, it looks like Twitch there. is up, but we're not going to be able to stream on it. Are you using a wireless yeah, that's mouse? No, Bummer. That's, that's right. Like, we'll be able to upload the video and stuff. About to start round two here. US should be ready momentarily. Looks like insurgents are primed and ready to go. We will have at least about eight more minutes than last time, perhaps. Yeah, it looks like we got Seven 46 on the clock right now. Insurgents just called ready. Well, here's some U.S. chatter, so they might not quite be done yet. Oh, here, we'll throw up the overlay for you guys. Our, uh, Run through those nightmare, objectives. Again. Nightmare opener, yeah. For any new new viewers? Yeah, might not be familiar just joining with us. One. We have got, for the U.S., they have two ARs, a Grenadier, and a Medic. They've got a strike, or it's not a striker. They're going to have a uh, Crow's Humvee, actually, is what it's going to be, and a transport truck. To push the insurgents, are going to use two ARs, two LATs, which are vital. That's scout per squad for anti-tank mines, and, and IEDs is crucial as well. They've got a Medic. 
They also get four dishkas and vehicle scrounge, and you'll see them scrounge vehicles for sure. Um, as for the mission, uh, the insurgents hold a compound containing the high value target in the west of the Logar Valley. The high value target has the G3. He's the only one that's going to have the G3. So if you hear the report of that, tang that shot, that's that's him, and they're going to shoot Very him. Very distinct, yeah. Yeah, the U.S. forces are tasked with eliminating him, and then they in extract a Delta IV keypad too. And the, the the insurgents have to assault that exfil. Now, if the HPT is killed and he's not, you know, and they don't know it, sometimes the U.S. won't know that they've actually killed him. So two minutes after the H, the high value target dies, he'll say, you know, HPT dead, U.S. may pursue the exfil. Yeah, or something along. And it's a then it's a race to get to the U.S. exfil. Well, depending on who's left and what the situation is, everybody goes to exfil and fight over that. Usually leads to some nice tense moments like we saw last round. We did. We saw last round that Humvee getting clutch and then rolling and Termi was coming in, but then we ran out of time. So it looks like the U.S. pushed the vehicles out quickly. Yes, they did. And the rest are on foot. I was wondering if they were going to do this, if they are going to go quick and hard. Now, Truth Realm is there are booking no, down oh, there. Here comes a motorbike. Does he have a V-bed? Is that a V-bid? That would be fantastic. Wow. I don't see him. Truth Realm had, had to have seen them zip by, but I don't think the Humvee saw or heard. One, be advised. I'm going to swing my guys out a little further north. Maybe not. Copy that. I'll keep for this Maybe out. Truth didn't hear him. Uh, they are so close to each other. Look at this. Yeah, for how how quick quickly this game Copy has gotten that. in. Copy that. Try and keep that crow alive. Oh, he he does. He's got. Oh, oh, yep. They saw him. Now he he should hopefully know at this point. Hey, he's he's name. a scout though. We'll see what he decides. Oh, yeah, they're shooting at him. He's running. Yeah, I'd, I'd be Fire running. Hater. Fifty wall. That that thing goes right through those walls. Truth should be able to slip away into the darkness here. West. No, no, I think he was probably to booking to it down there, and he's going to try to put a mine down on the road. I think he was too. He's actually continuing to run east, and then further in the north here, we've got a U.S. squad that just oh. embedded themselves into this central compound, and they've got. Oh, contact. they're going to hit this! They're going to hit this lodgy. Here comes this lodgy. Yep, they're hitting him. Look at all that sparks. Oh! Good Did they get going out. Nope. He just drove right through like it was nothing. I think there's a, a bug going around right now where they're, they can't actually pierce the... Oh, Tommy just got someone with a rocket. and Yeah, he fired the rocket. He didn't get it. Oh, he got sightless, didn't he? Yeah, he oh, got sightless. He? Yeah. And Merrick 362 just went down also. Wow, Silas did awesome last round. Too bad he's down. Tommy is still up. Got himself a kill. Silverman and Kennedy are right there. I'm sure we're right here. Sklion should have a good shot. Well, maybe not. Where is the contact right now? Oh, Joker rockets him. Silverman, no, that's Kennet. Is that Kennet? Yeah, Kennet's down. Tommy's down. You know, this is good for... Good for the U.S. Totally distracting everybody. Yeah, I think that's probably what they were told to do. They're probably like told to book it in there, harden up, keep everybody distracted while the rest of the team moves in. Well, they're looking north now, and it's and they're pushing in. Honestly, no, it's about even up here. Uh, Five on three. The insurgents actually have the kills right now in the U.S. They were risky yeah, hitting this way. Right, I'm, this is one. I'm having my guys near buildings as we push through looking for uh, ambush. Yeah, copy. Soft room. Don't even I like hearing the constant area. communication over. Yeah, chat out and copy. everybody's just chattering away. So the macro. Got the insurgents, so they're coming in. And we got Krusty, Joker. 
Roggily down, down. Trusty leading by example as always. He loves to get in there and get get his hands dirty. He's actually sending someone in before himself. <laughs> that's that's always my problem oh, too. That's Tommy shooting at Krusty. He doesn't get him. Krusty's shooting back. Oh, he gets shot. Krusty didn't know where he was. Nice try, Krusty. Oh, you've got time to get to the... Gamey Brennan just rocked Joker Sully. Superman's right inside the corner. I'm gonna shoot the location. The insurgents know they're in here. That's that's where it's. Oh yeah. So far, no Stone time. Apple moving up on Brennan. Evan SMA on Overwatch out there. Rogally Don Don, interesting name. Yeah. Ruggly Don Don, Stoned Apple, Double XLs coming to support him. Look at the U.S. They're not even moving. They're being super quiet, listening to footsteps. No one told yeah. them to do this. This is just They've got that's just experience. Uh, oh, they them? were told to harden up, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were told to harden up, but no one told them. You know, they didn't. No one said stay still, listen. But that's what they're doing. Copy that. Um, what direction would you say they're coming from? Your north. Generally, yes. Grenades going out. Good grenade. Well, almost a good grenade. Techie down, one baldy down over here. Copy that. Good work. Just keep doing what you're doing now. We got some more action in the southwest, and we got light contact at this compound too. XF up there in the uh, southwest. His squad. He's hurt. He's got to bandage himself. He's bleeding right now. I see yeah, his bar going out. down. Looks like we got Jack and Chappie. Oh, I, actually, I think he got, he got in the 50. Oh, man. They just shot a rocket at Friendly. Barely missed him. Crow's Gunner taking shots at the techie. Silverman looking down on this guy. Stoned Apple. Please. I'm too far away. In this little tiny nook here. Take these red dots. It's got Four, decent, decent cover there. Oof, this is going to be tough. Tough to move in. Got They've got a good line formation window. going on in the U.S., so we'll see how they do. they got a lot of work ahead of them. He's hesitant, as he should be. That's that's a lot of angles to cover. Salute number 12 and Evan SMA shooting at each other. Evan gets him. But he's hit. Let's see if Burns or FX1000 can come in and finish him off. Doesn't appear they're going to be able to. Oh, he's down. He got they're killed by back. over here. Here we go. Here we go. Looks like Termy got him. Oh. Oh, this Humvee is right there. Is that SPG gonna see him? Looks like he saw him. Took a shot. Did that oh, hit? he got him. He dropped the gunner. Great shot by that by that gunner. That was a uh, chappy in the in the gunner seat. That was a great shot. That techie started shooting. He turned right at the gunner and dropped him. Now, do they know there's SPG techie just over the way up here? Didn't the SPG shoot? We heard that thing fire, right? Another techie down. And meanwhile, the rest of the U.S. team slowly approaching that hill. And then we've got Truth Realm. Scout. Is he still in the south? Doing what scouting does. He's, <laughs> he's way the heck down there. Oh, that's great. That's great. Someone's got to do it, right? I'm not even going to judge him this time. It's clear down here, guys. I'm going to go no, check out nobody, the market. I hear, I hear they've got USB. some great sausage. They're not at Xfil yet. All right, here we go. Ooh, this is going to be good. good. He puts an IED in Xfil building before he leaves. I wonder if he did that. This one more or less wraps out. 
Doesn't look like it. All right. But. So there's no there's no IEDs for a ways, but this SPG techie, they're gonna just drive up right on it. They are gonna eat a rocket right in the do side they, from this thing. Do they know where it is? No, I don't think they do. They know that there's a lot of enemies. They've already destroyed two vehicles. Who's that wide of it? XF can probably get eyes on it. Maybe he's maybe he's, he's scouting for him right now. So Dude, I can't see anything, man. Oh, we don't have squad comms or anything, but. I, Man, if he, I wonder if he's going to get a sight on it. He is really out there. He is out there a ways. I don't think XF's going to you know, see him. If, yeah, if he comes foliage. back into this wall and looks, he'll be able to see him. We'll see if he looks this way. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Get back on that gun, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, he's looking perfect. He's looking perfect. He's. They're going to eat one. Let's see what they do when they eat it. There it is. He There's gets the one. shot off. Oh, Ooh. they took a rock in there, dude. They and XF done. just saw it too. He's taking shots at the gunner. Not in time. Excellent job. Great ambush. Oh. Who was that? Panda and I think Fulcrum. Right, she's far, she's far. I do Excellent believe Panda player. Scope got the kill on it. Not sure. She's Looking one more for good measure. Nope, it wasn't Panda Scope that got it. It was the other guy. Panda shot the uh, SPG. Okay, so it's Fulcrum. Fulcrum fired the uh, the rocket. Yep, Fulcrum got them both. Yep, good job by Fulcrum. XF is by himself. See if he can yep. avenge them. He's hiding out over there. Is he gonna get that SPG? He's now squad lead, so at least he can communicate. Hopefully, they just destroyed a lot, and then will draw some of this pressure off of us. Oh, Rogali Don Don heard a grenade go off. <laughs> Bro, rather. What a name. Here we go. Oh, oh him and Jimmy Brennan. Trade They're bullets. both wounded. Rogali actually didn't get hit there. He got hit by the grenade that was thrown earlier. Let's see if Biff, Biff's aggressive. Let's see if Biff They're will get around They're both running, here. bandaging. Biff's always aggressive. We'll see if he Ooh, can he's get He's got there. his RPG. No, oh, never mind. Yeah, he does have his RPG out. Ooh, oh, ooh, Biff gets wow. him. Good saw fire. That was a blind fire. Did great. Yeah, he must have must have caught a, a limb or something through the tree. A pixel, yeah, shoot. a pixel moving. All right, now the U.S. have got to get up. They got to get up on this hill of death. Oh yeah, here we go. The main main compound. Oh Eber, Eber's all by himself. He's got a full U.S. force coming in on him in the field. Oh, he's seen one. They're trading shots. Looks like neither one's hit. That's Silent Death and Eber. Looks like Eber's pulling out a grenade. He throws Full it. squad versus a full squad here. Oh, two squads. That scared him. Shadow just <clears throat> highlighted. Preach spacing. Oh, here comes another nade. Don't let an IED yeah, take out a full a squad. See if I have a helicopter can get Eber. He's gonna walk right up on him. He is gonna step on him. He's practically gonna step on him before he sees him. I'm starting to wrap my Bravo fire team west. He doesn't see him yet though. If I take out the outlines, look at that. Look at out. You can't even see him. He's right below me. Yeah, oh. I'll just be super sneaky. I'll sneak up around them. Good call. I'm I'm practically dead, so my screen's almost black. Wow, they are Three feet away from each other. Oh, Eber sees him. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't see him. Oh, my God. Look at that. I mean, they are feet. Oh, there he shoots he him. Just there drops him. Sack of poop. <laughs> Sack silent, of poop. Silent death totally. <laughs> silent death had to see that. He's got to know. He's going to walk right up on him. Oh, there. Look, there. Oh, there oh, he got him. He, wow. the gun. he finally caught him. Drop you got to be looking. Fire. Yep. you got to be looking for that or he's not going to get him. I got him. He was hiding in the, the grass. Meanwhile... A-frame, A-frame. Oh, dude, I walked right past him. Oh, Terry the Tally walked right past him. He said, hey, freaking, very good cover there. Uh, whoever who was that? Whoever that was, that was great. The U.S. breaching the main compound here in the north. Looks like they took out one. The U.S. do have the kill lead by about Ooh. six right now. By about five right now. SKS takes one out down that alley. No, there is no slow walking lab tech. Yeah, but like Best Pony said. Thanks for helping us out, Best Pony.
U.S. breach. The fob is just here to their west. I'm gonna, I'll show you guys. It's, see it over there? It's highlighted. I can like I highlight and unhighlight it, maybe. Or not. Oh, excuse me. Level, were you on the SPG techie? No, I was not. Oh. Woo! Grenade, real close. The scout has a uh, nerves of steel. You said you don't need to check buildings? Trying to get his own grenade out. Working so on US it. Actually got it. Oh, there's some little bit of gunfire being traded. That's Terry the Tally and Dermoplast shooting at each other. Neither one's hit. CMYK matter. Squad leader there on Dermoplast or on Terry the Tally. See how they do. They're looking. Four, you don't need to go into those and, uh, nope. Oh, he gets him. Terry the Tally drops him as he crosses the open that area. A, that was job. a great shot. Yep. Good, re good way to hold. Climb up that, climb up that uh, hill. Four, good GLs going off. So now we've got a complete envelopment by the U.S. We we'll get this they overhead view here. Fully surrounded. Yeah. You got mountains on two sides, but you got U.S. on the other two sides. Nowhere to yeah, run. Creeping is right by the fob. Just he's there. He would be their VIP, their HVT, their high value target. He's sitting by the fob, pretty much chilling out. Right. He's got J Remick to the north. I'm sure he's equipped with the GL, waiting to let it rain. You are absolute spite. See some terrorists doing the flop over there. Okay. Still so the southern squad pushing in. Who is that? that is, Truth uh, Realm. Scouting out their base. Still. Yeah. Oh, that's Google Trek squad in the south. They're they're moving in really well, but their spacing could use some. Oh no, they're they're well spaced. Oh, they're doing great. Oh, US making a beautiful push right now. Oh, another nade takes out another insurgents. US really pushing hard. They're making things happen. I'm sure this is the last thing that the that the insurgents wanted to deal with was. Oh, another nade takes out another insurgent. Wow. These explosives are really working for the US right now. Southern teams are pushing hard now. That's like yeah, they, they've got no resistance. Yeah, they're just walking up on the wall. Man, the yeah. U.S. just come lit come them come up. Come the U.S. has 26 kills now. There's about, I don't know, there's very few Ooh. left on the insurgents. So we got J. Remick over here stalking the U.S. command. There's J. Remick, Cantador, Level, and Creeping. There's four left for the insurgents right now. Is that it? Four remain. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And Creeping, the commander, he's one of them, so don't we'll keep an eye don't. on these guys. We still got Truth Realm three miles away. Uh, yeah, with, he'll cover the exfil. With his and mine. <laughs> cover in the exfil. Is insurgents allowed to camp the U.S. exfil? We'll uh, deal with that later, Jack. Side. If you check your map, uh, we're on the wall. The compound to the north has a sandbag, and he's peeking. Uh, Shadow Ritual about to get murdered by Remick here. That's the command. He's down. That was brutal. Remick with the assassin. Yeah, okay. Assassination. Getting her done. Command just went down. Command just went down. The call goes out. See if that holds him back a little bit. Well, creeping went down as well. Creeping hey, is yeah, also down. So these two minutes, they're going to start exfilling. Dead. What is there? Two left? Three? With... There's three with J Remick. Four with Truth Realm up in the four southeast. Truth. Remick is in a I'll position here to make a huge play. And I think Remick's got that. He no, he's got a lat. Remick's running a lat, so he, they're close. He'll take out two or three and one. I hear the fob. Got one. They're shooting through the murder holes. I can't. Oh, they got one. There's oh, one left in Remix. there. There's level. Remix is might be there. murdering Google Tracks, who's the current so US just... command. Nope, looks like he runs by. Oh, down he goes. It's all Remick up here on the north side. It's all Remick. Might be getting two. And we're going to get a, in about a minute, we're going to get the call that Creeping is down. J Remick coming oh, up on he's, a pair. Oh, he's going to wreck him. FX1000 is in trouble. He sees him, oh. right? Oh, yeah. he missed. Missed his, uh... FX is out. Shot his strike. Inside, just south now they're getting reinforcements. All right, Google Trek saw him. Bandaging. Or is the medic? Yep. Oh, it was the medic. Oh, he, they hit him. Oh, he's down. Got him. Got him down. Got him down. 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 Truth down. realm. All right, support me. I'm picking up. <laughs> oh. Covering. 
Well, let's see what kind of uh, traps Truth Realm's got. Yeah, I'm thinking about. He's, yeah, he's I think got about a minor thirty seconds ID. for the broadcast. I can say... Good. Yeah, we'll get that broadcast in about thirty seconds, and then it's going to be Truth Realm all by his onesies. It looks like he's up on the hill that he was on with the Humvee. Alpha Bravo, move to transfer. We can exfil Delta Four keypad two. Let's go. See if we can find. Looks like Truth put down his IED and the uh, mine. Oh, right, that double time it, and I got the order. Uh, all troops moving to the transport, yeah. so they can all run right over that IED. Boom! Uh, <laughs> you never heard that Bravo, mine. Uh, the mine. Know. The mine is right at the crossroads. Excellent. It's pretty, you know, obvious but logical place to put it. Nice little uh, rock formation there. Mine. What he build like a? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, those rocks are totally gonna yeah. seal it right there. <laughs> They've got it. it is, I mean, they are blocking every. I can't even see it. Those rocks are all in the way. Yeah. And then up the way, let's see where he put the IED. <laughs> Looks like it's in. <laughs> right in the exfil. Oh, the it's gonna be good. Uh, I just can't wait. I can't wait right to see this here. transport drive through here. Oh, there it is. There's the IED. Ooh, pretty well buried. That'd be really easy to miss underneath that dish rag. Yeah. Let's see what that looks like from the outside looking in. That looks like nothing. Yeah. There's about two full squads. Two full squads for the for the U.S. Push it back. What do you guys think about coming from the north side? Move back up the gully. So we got a little time here. Truth Realm. He's uh, kind of in an obvious spot. Uh, he sticks out like kind of like a sore thumb. Let's see if, what he might look like from a U.S. coming over this hill. Let's see if I can turn outlines off. Yeah, that white and pink headband really isn't doing him any favors up there. Google Trex is in command, and he's talking about going in from the north on, on the exfil. So that could negate the mine. Before we take yeah. off with this transport. And they're talking about Check sweeping mines and IEDs. And mines. Check it carefully. Excellent strategy. Because, yeah, the U.S. don't know who's left or how many. They probably have a good idea that they wiped Check out on most. it, around it, and under it. But you really never really know. I think no. Oh, don't crawl under it too much. And they haven't Flips even discussed it amongst like themselves. That. Yeah, I think we're good. Under Anybody base clear. You can use your same Phoenix RSS squad ops website isn't secure. It says I have no idea. We just rolled out our new website today. Uh, I have I know nothing about it. I haven't even been uh, to it. Matter you want to In fact, they're probably going to yell at me because I haven't made an account. Uh, <laughs> it is pretty sexy. Right. I had a chance to check it out for a minute or two before we started setting up for this. Uh, oh, look at them all in there. <laughs> they're all a lot of great die. functionality. <laughs> Boom! Game over. As we soon as they run it. over that mine, that I will be laugh. Great. I will laugh till I cry. <laughs> a couple of them are like, ah, I think I'm going to walk. They're all a bunch of sissies. They should all... Oh, are they all getting in? <laughs> oh, they're all in! <laughs> this is going to be great. Oh, Operation All Eggs in One Basket. Oh, no, wait, we wait. Go. Silent Death is walking. He's the only guy on foot. He's walking. I think he's clearing mines, so... It, it that that mine is, is so obvious. It's yeah, it's like... pretty obvious. It's a giant layer cake in the middle of the road. Like, you can't miss it. <laughs> Pretty much. Let's see if Silent Death jumps in with them. Yeah, they're even staying off of the road for the most part. They're coming down that middle road. Oh, yeah, they got they're... him. Oh, man. If they go south. Look at all those people. That is a loaded... Too many peeps in that Jeep. <laughs> they're staying off the road. Too many peeps in that Jeep. They're going to get it stuck and they'll all be walking. Yeah. Right here. They're going to get it stuck. Oh, negligent discharge by Truth Realm. Oh, uh, are you kidding me? He just Don't fired for no reason, stuff. yeah. They didn't hear it, though. Everyone's in there. Yeah, that's true. Oh, my God. You want to switch? Oh, yeah. If they hit that mine, I will die. You guys are going to hear me cry. I hope they do. I just, I hope they do. I don't care if Truth Realm placed it. I don't care who placed it. I just hope they hit it. I will die. It'd be great if, if like, the passenger uh, saw it and managed to get out 
first. And then the, the truck ran over and everybody dies except for one person. And then it's one on one. You just hear, mine, 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 mine. Mouse, yeah. <laughs> No, we're good. Look at them, they're being... Are right they here. going north? They're going. Well, they're going to have to go around the north 40 here. Unless, can they sneak it through that little alley? Yeah, I think uh, they let's can. Let's just dismount here and run the rest. 18 minutes, 18 minutes. We got plenty of time. They all be oh, oh, somebody went into orbit for a second there. Suicided? Nah, they're fine. I ain't shit. No, FX, what? How did that happen? <laughs> I have no idea. We have dead people all around here. Wait, did they seriously die? Oh my god. Too many people tried yeah, to get yeah, out at the same time and it teleported. I don't know, that vehicle. poor bastard. Uh, I would I I would That's say like to two of them died. Happened. Two of them are dead right there. Oh, all right. That's the suck. All right. Wow. Yeah, dysentery. It's, it's a bitch dysentery, I tell you. <laughs> Those poor bastards have been out here for hours. <laughs> Sweeping through that town. Oh, they all went through the Logar River there. It's weird. There's just like water in the bottom here, but where's it come from? There's no, there's no erosion ditches. There's no runoff really. It's just some water down here with a pipe in it. Whatever. We're gonna keep scrolling along. Now I'm, a, I'm, I mean the fun's not over yet. We can. We might get to see a sweet IED take out quite a few U.S. guys here, so. We well, let's effectively see, cause... have two full squads, so we should be able let's to see take if he this can, uh, sheer number. Can you really see that corridor? If they come in through the back door, and they somehow don't see him sticking out here like a, a rose in a snowfield, yeah, I guess he'll know roughly when they're on his IED. Yeah, what is his position? Can he see very well? He can see pretty well, um, but I'm pretty sure they're going to spot him really quickly. Like as soon he has, as he takes yeah, as them soon to as, see if he could blow his IED, he's going to take shots. There's probably. no, there's no peeking. He's already fully exposed, especially the from the direction they're coming. Hit it from slightly east. He's just oh, like wow. under a large rock, and uh, Copy. it looks like US yeah, is splitting up a little bit too. Couple are going to go uh, straight in. Couple are going to come in from the north. Just a little further east. Squad, I guess one squad in, one squad north. I'll put it put it right on Truth Truth's head here, so we can see the bullets coming in. We'll get his point of view as it enters his eyeball. All right, he can see him. There's one on the IED right now. I've got no eyes in that compound. Let's Nothing see, in that let's compound. Let's see if he pulls out that. Uh, that far, uh, Wait. Western compound. Poor Truth is he's just laying right under a rock there, totally Truth, exposed. Truth, Truth Realm doesn't even see him. They're they're behind the walls. They're still behind the walls. They pushed in pretty well, sneakily. Do you know where his ID is? Like right next to him, isn't it? Four of them just walked past it, yeah. Check the, check the room. Oh, yeah, okay, it's right here. How is they, no yep, they him? did. That would have been a, a murderous one right there for him. How has no one seen him? It's it's a ways. It's a long ways. Like If I take off the tracers, I can hardly see him. Fifteen uh, minutes. Contact on the eastern uh, compound at all, either. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's pulling out I, something. I hear, out couple, I hear the U.S. going, "Hello, <laughs> is anybody in here?" What? Did he shoot? He shot. He oh, shot at they nothing. Called, they called yep, it shot south. south. Called shot south. Maybe it wasn't a negligent discharge before. Well, that one he was he was aiming it. He pulled out his gun and, and aimed it, but there was oh no, they, they got eyes on him. And you're yeah, on shots are going. Takes one in the in the arm. Oh, he's, and he's down. down. That's a good game. Yeah. Good game. <laughs> you what? fucking respawn and blew it. <laughs> oh. That's funny. All right. Did well, that really well, that's, guys. You know round what? two. Like, Nightmare. Insurgents won both last time, and the U.S. won both this time. So I love how the, the dynamic changes it every time. It's it's awesome. Just little changes can affect an entire round. That was a good game. Good yeah, round two. Good action well, all I mean, over the place. Really well executed yeah, second half by the U.S. Game. because they were they went out and they died early. They lost their Humvee, you know. And and did a real good job of keeping it together. So looks like Jack Reynolds picks up six. Brandon with four. 
Cool. Burns with five. So Good some job, high kill everybody. counts on the U.S. Job, yeah. Looks like a lot of the insurgents have already quit. We can't tell. Yeah, a lot but of them left. Overall, right. it was a good round. Yeah. Excellent. Great job. Um, that's Operation Nightmare. It's a real good one. We like that. I love those night maps and dark ones. Yeah. Everyone's a little more cautious all the time. It's not quite as good as a classic Silent Vigil, but uh, it's still pretty good. Let's We're going to grab a couple uh, guys. We're going to get some yeah, post-op interviews, interviews going on, some POIs. Drag a couple folks in here. We'll see if they're here yet. Where are they at? Where are they Bring at? them in screaming. They're not here yet. Who are we going to get? We're going to get Shadow Ritual and Google Tricks. And they're actually on the same team, I think. So we got one of them. Hello, Shadowed. How are you, buddy? Shadowed, what's going on? And welcome, Google, as well. Hey, how's first it going? of all, first of all, excellent operation. Uh, yeah, second off, I got a question. Round one, Shadow Ritual. You had the G3, my friend, and we saw you bleed out there. I think is that yeah. what happened? Uh, are you talking, Ritual? Can't hear you. Sorry, I had my mic muted. Um, there we go. So I was on the, the machine gun nest on the far northwest, and at the time that they were pushing in, I was like, I need to get back to, to the actual compound, and I'll, I'll command from there. And I got shot running down, and so my screen was basically black. And as I ran into the compound, I had already bandaged. I was calling for a medic, and a, was, I don't even think they were aiming for me. I think it was just a stray round. Just one of them just happened to catch me, and I just I was such low health already. Ah, uh, that's what it was. It just okay. dropped me. Super, super unfortunate because I don't even think they were aiming for me. I don't think they were either. It, it looked like you were just, yeah, going to regroup, get a little better coverage. So, yeah, unfortunate right there. And, uh, man, you, it was close. That It was the timer that really killed you in the end because you had one guy left in round one that was pushing in. But, you know, yeah, cars close, were and they, they had that, uh, that Crow Humvee in a very, very good over one position to watch their, uh, their expo location. It, yeah, it that was, was almost was a good one. Almost too strong. And, and then round two, I think Shadowed went down. For, no, no, that's, uh, you were still alive. Maybe, I don't know. But no, no. Google Trex took over round two, didn't you? Yeah. yeah, I died right right before we pushed into the to the cache. Yeah. I was we watching on north flank. And we got I good think coverage of your murder. Yep, yeah. he came Jay around behind comes you. Up and this murders me. But Google took over, and he did a great job finishing it out. Yeah, they actually finished off Jay Remick, destroyed the fob, and X filled in. It was... I'll tell you what, it was a good call, Google Trex, to come in from the north because there was a mine <laughs> laying right at an intersection in the wide open. You probably would have saw it, but bringing 18 guys in that lodging, we were in that transport. We were like, I would love to see this. But you, yeah, you were we were a little smarter than that. We were kind of of the mind either they're going to win by a huge margin or they're going to lose because we're going to push them. We just we're like pile in, and if it, if we hit a mine, I mean, it's unfortunate, but we're going to let them have that win just yeah. from <laughs> from them getting that great mine placement. Yep, and it, and it no, worked out good for you guys. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun trying to maneuver, and, and command comms was really fun. What was like, the tensest, what would you say was the tensest moment you had in this round? Uh, tensest moment I had is we came up on that compound that uh, they had an emplacement there with the gun, the sandbags right up on their compound, and I had my squad pushing and one squad south of me, and we were basically like, this is going to be the full amount of contact we're going to have here, and so that was the tensest moment as I pushed up with my squad. Oh, and it was. You guys were, they had the altitude advantage. They were ready, but you guys, yeah. you guys played it real well, all kind of pushed in at the same time, and it worked out in your favor this time. Uh, oh, yeah. When Jay Remick was flanking you guys and, and he missed the, the first guy, and you guys all turned on him, I was like, oh, 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 oh was that him on that the south wall? Yeah, yep. He was the okay. last guy they had up there. Yeah. yeah, I think I took him out. He he tagged one of my guys, and they both just dropped in there. He's like, oh, we got contact. Yeah, and then you <laughs> peeked the corner and dropped him as he was trying to actually. He was trying to run away. Yeah, I saw he was running from me. It almost looked like he was jumping around trying to dodge my shots. But uh, yeah, it was fun. We were wondering, uh, in the very beginning, the U.S. team sent the... Uh... Vehicle, the, what the transport vehicle um, into, that, into that center compound right off the bat, just rushed straight in. Everybody jumped out and then they hardened up. What was the th the thought process behind that? It ended up working oh. pretty well. Um, the thought process was like there, there's a few, there's a limited amount of like areas they can resupply from, 
and that was that felt like that was the, the one they would go for and really it was like you, you blitz there and I was, I was expecting to spread out at first and just watch that hill make sure they can't push south and cut off our humvee because I, I wanted to get the humvee up on the very south hill to fire into the objective and uh, but it ended up working off they i think we were able to cut off their supplies relatively early so they, didn't, they weren't able to get a lot of defenses up and, and they just they were able to harden up and, and they they got dealt a lot of damage but they were able to deal out a lot in return i felt like and it allowed basically my my northern element to it was two squads in the north northern element to just move in almost almost unimpeded yeah, yeah I'd that, say a lot of the attention was on those center guys so yeah your northern squads were able to just get up all the way up on the hill without even being seen i'm pretty sure Agreed, that center squad did a good job of, of just being a decoy, basically. And the Humvee did well, it took out two vehicles, but a well-positioned SPG oh, techie yeah. and a, uh, you know, a trigger-happy RPG were right there and just that wiped them in a great. second. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there, there was one second, it was Jack Reynolds or LaRue, he was uh, he was talking to, uh, in, in command comes with one vehicle down, another vehicle down, another vehicle down, and then just an explosion, and actually takes yeah. over, <laughs> and he's like, uh, Humvee's down, I'm like, wait a minute. What happened? He goes, SPG Techie and, uh, and a lot and, uh, and, uh, and a lad just volleyed him off. I'm the only one left in my squad. And I was like, oh, no. Just usually when you lose such a such an asset like that, like any kind of any time you lose like your striker or your humvee or something, that usually hurts a lot, especially because I felt like we were still pretty early on in the game. Yeah, and it kind of was. It, on, on another note, um, round one, you guys got to jump on the transport in the humvee mm -hmm. and interestingly you took out the transport first was there a reason for that um kirkley was in charge of that squad uh i had uh basically it was two svgs or two discus two svgs uh on the west side of the map ready to just wherever the uh the vehicle w was to commit to just sort of just swing around on the plank and then he said that they got contact with the, the transport truck and i was like all right go go get them and uh it was all kirkley's call to, to what they attacked first and i, I think they they just they managed to get more shots onto the uh, onto the uh, transport. Yeah, actually, I, I don't like even know if they hit the Humvee, but they, yeah, I don't they think took they out were the transport. At it at all. And there was five guys in that transport, including command. So that actually was a, a smart play. Yeah, he knew out. what was in there or not. Yeah, I like to let the the command the like I, I I delegate a lot of things down to just squad leads like the, any fine mo movement is, is up to them who they're shooting at like that's up to you i just give you a sector and i'm like do with it what you will and oh yeah it you works out pretty nicely you let a, a killer lat squad do some work on kohat a couple ops ago i remember oh yeah i i'm very very into the idea of just you tell them what needs to get done and, and let them and let them do it and see what happens and somebody somebody said that it's a famous famous general but i don't remember <laughs> His name Shadowed Ritual, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we'll let everybody go here. Thank you guys so much for the the post op interview and your thoughts on it. I think it's a great us. operation. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Great wins. I love us. these night ops. Night ops are a lot of fun. Yep. I specifically sign up for the night ops like every month. Nice. I love them. All right. Well. Uh, Tennis and I will let you guys go here. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the Twitch thing. That is something completely out of our control. But yep. we still got a few people here on, on YouTube, so that's nice. Uh, we'll let you go for the night. And come join us. We'll see you the GG. Yeah. What yeah. upside GG? We got a Discord. We got our own servers. And we yeah. should be streaming Saturday evening. Maybe Maybe both events on Saturday. Not sure. But we'll be here. And we'll see you then. Until next time, I'm I'm Muff, Tedish, and yeah, rock on. Time for some dinner. <laughs>